Got some pink going down the jungle. Up. Oh, like there's the there's the charm, there's the charm. And grabs the hook, under tower! There's the stun, and he gets out alive. He's gonna get both of this. This is a double kill over to blue side. Did you say that that was because of a lack of map awareness? There's the ult, and she goes down. Look at him, right now he's half health, and the team fight's going on. And there's the ult from Jinx, but it's not enough! Lots of deaths, left and one. That was a 4 to 1 right there. You know, honestly, I don't think there is coming back from this right now. Hello and welcome to Any League Casting. This is the very first episode of our shoutcasting channel. We're going to be shoutcasting any league matches you send in. That's right, all players submitted. We don't care if you're bronze or if you're challenger. If it's an interesting match, we'll cast it. I'm your host, Master Koro, and this is my co-caster, Loki Chaotic. Hello, everybody. Hey. Now, as you know, casting is not a casual affair, so I'm properly dressed with my tie. Let's get straight into the game and start casting a match. We're loading onto the rift now with a low silver game. On the blue side, we have I'm a Travesty on Katarina, Hibernasian on Volleybear, Chris Yale on Vane, I am Underwhelmed on Morgana, and Abrixie on Lee Sin. And on the red side, we have Zakai57 as Maokai, Deft Dunn as Caitlyn, J Specs as Akali, Armored Shrooms as Malphite, and Viznaz as Elise. Alright then, let's get on to the rift. Obviously, we got Hibernation in the jungle. We've got uh, I'm a Travesty in the mid lane. Looks like we're gonna have, obviously, Chris Yell at. Chris Yale. Let me let me figure that out. Chris Yale. Chris Yale. Chris Yale. On on Vein is ADC, and um, obviously. I am overwhelmed. Uh, oh, <clears throat> I am underwhelmed as his support with a Brixie in the jungle. A Brixie doesn't seem to know what he wants. I mean, not on the jungle. Excuse me. A Brixie in the top lane. Uh, he doesn't seem to know what he wants to do. He's just hanging out in the fountain. I think he's feeling a little uncomfortable with the current situation. Uh, maybe he's a little worried. Yeah, he's he's scared, I feel like. And, okay, so we have Viznaz coming into the jungle on blue side. He does not see Hibernation. He wards Krugs, and Hibernation doesn't grab him. Ah, uh, they should have went in for that. Wow, Hibernation needed... Did he level up his Q? He, all right, he had already leveled up his Frenzy, which is why he didn't actually go in on this. And that is why you don't choose your skill. Yeah, you do ready. not you need to choose juggling. your skills. Yes, always pick your skills right when you need to use them. Because if you do them before, then this can happen. That would have been an easy kill, or at least a flash. And if they couldn't gotten that kill on Chrissy Eel, then that would have been a really strong start for their vein. There's J Specs chilling on the red side. Looks like we have Kaylin doing some trash talking. Can you see the chat? Yeah. Wow. Uh, I don't know. Just there. It says, Vayne, don't play Vayne this week. Kate counters you hard. I do not see that. Chat history is here. All right. Looks like Hibernation's going to begin some leash down on the golems. At least looks like she's stolen and gromp by herself. You're going to be our chat monitor. Because for some reason my chat is off. Don't worry. In future episodes, we will have chat on the video. For you guys but until then there's a there's a root coming from i am underwhelmed but there's not a whole lot of follow-up because they're only level one that is a level one vein there who do you think is gonna go ahead and take this top lane out of lee sin and malphite well that's a good question i feel like right now uh probably if lee sin got in let me see his his runs and masteries he has 80 attack damage and malphite already has 43 armor hmm you know, I feel like, you know, this is obvious. Malphite definitely has the early advantage. Unless unless he gets some really early armor penetration and a good gank from Hibernation. Oh, oh there's a lot of damage it. onto a Brixie. Is he going to get away? There's, there's the slow. There's the Q coming out from a Brixie, but he does not want to go in on that. There's the safeguard, and he gets away. It's a lot of damage coming out. There's your answer right there, Loki. <laughs> because Malphite has so much natural armor... And and pretty much all of all of Lee Sin's damage is gonna be physical, except for his cripple. Well, it doesn't or look like Brixie was he? paying attention up there. No. He's kinda like AFK for he, a second. He's letting himself take an awful lot of harass. 
Underwhelm takes some damage from Caitlyn. I'm a travesty. Alright, so what do you think about this mid lane? We have we have a Katarina versus an Akali. That's interesting. I've played this matchup before, and I feel like it's definitely a skill matchup, and what matters a lot is jungle presence. Oh, Brixie jumping in there onto Armored Shrooms. There's a root onto... Oh, there's a root onto Def Dunn, and he has to blow his heal. No, that's looks been like down for might be going in for a gank on the mid lane. No, it, doesn't, it looks like he's got... He doesn't want to go in onto it. He's really unsure. He needs to either go over this or go back and get farm. Defton has almost no health in the bot lane. If Underwhelm lands a, a root right now, it's going to be GG. It's going to be a free kill. Okay, Obrixie's back with full health. He obviously is getting a little bit better at keeping away from that farm. There's a root onto Sakai in the bot lane. Bolivar looking to see if he can counter jungle. Yes, but there's nothing there for him to take. Uh, I'm going to have to give mid lane to Akali, simply for the fact that if she can get ahead of uh, Katarina, her ult's gonna counter, counter Katarina Shunupo. Shunpo? Shunpo, Shunupo. <laughs> Shunupo. There's Shut the up. new Katarina ability. Shunupo. Shunupo. <laughs> Coming soon. <laughs> Coming soon with Katarina's rework. Oh, looks like Vayne's gonna get some free tower damage. There's some good damage. There's another root onto Zakai. We've seen a lot of really good hooks. In that last Lee's game. Lee's already going for Dragon. That's, that's, that's insane right there. That's, she doesn't have the damage to do this. Um, yeah, she, it doesn't look like she's going to be able to do it. I right? don't think so. Hibernation trying to go for a gank in the top lane, but unfortunately Armor Shroom saw it coming and he's under tower nice and safe. I think uh, Warwick's the only one who can solo Dragon at level 3. I've seen Pantheons do it at level 2. Really? Yeah. It, it was. I think they changed it, but it was basically a method where you had literally. Oh, it looks like Elise is actually going to get dragon. No way. Yeah, look at that. There it is. Oh my goodness. Elise got dragon level three. Level There's three the dragon from Viznaz, excellently done. Now, probably the reason for that is because she has so much healing on her. There's a lot of damage coming on to Obrixie. He has to blow his flash to get away from our Matrooms. Um. So, a big thing about that is Viznaz used his heal a lot, and he had blue buff, so it came off cooldown a lot quicker. So he's just constantly spamming his Spider Form W and getting that healing back, keeping her attack speed on, and that's how she was able to do it. There's the twisted advance onto Chrysiel from Zakai, but the root comes right back. Chrysiel takes a lot of damage from Death Dime. This red lane's really overextended. It'd be really smart for that Katarina to go yeah, right now. Yeah, right now, Katarina should come down. And and Hibernation does not have the health to do it. He was just taking um, he was just taking the Raptor camp, and he's taking a lot of damage. Remember, that's the highest damage camp in the game. But Brixie goes in onto Armor Shrooms and uses his ult, and he's doing a decent amount of damage, but right now, even with the level advantage, he's taking a lot of damage back. And that's just because Malphite has so much armor to spare. A lot of excitement in this game. Everybody going back and forth. Defton misses the Q. There's the heal coming out. There's a root onto... Oh my goodness, what's going on? Everybody wants to kill everybody, but nobody's getting it. Oh, Brixie gets ulted in the top lane by Armor Shrews, and he goes down. He did not respect how much armor and how much damage Malphite could put out in the landing phase. I think his main problem was he kept jumping onto Malphite in the Absolutely. Of the you are so right. He kept on going in. He kept on trying to get a little poke and a little damage. There's a root onto Death Dunn. There's the exhaust oh, onto Chris Aeol. Hibernation is coming in with his great. There's the, the rolling thunder, and Bang, Zakai goes the back. They need more damage. Where's the tumble from oh, Chris Aeol? He needs to come in. Morgana, Morgana. Morgana. Morgana lands the root. Takes the kill, unfortunately, but still, advantage to blue side for that. While red side has dragon, blue side is currently holding a small gold lead and pressure in the bot lane. Red side also got first blood advantage. Yep, that's right. That's because of armor truth, because once again, Obrixie was just constantly trying to go in on to a Malphite as a Lee Sin, when all of his damage is physical. And Ob Armored Shrooms is hiding in the bush, and he wants to get in a little more. Oh, taking a lot Ooh, of damage. a lot of damage, right but it's not going to be enough. He's not going to be able to keep up with him. And there's the ult down for Obrixie. Obrixie has no major cooldowns right now. 
Is he going to keep trying to push this? I mean, right now, Armored Shrooms has no mana. If he had his ult right now... Looks which... like Elise is going to come in for the gank top. Oh, and there's Viznaz. He wants to stop this right now. Armored Shrooms taking a lot of damage, but there's a lot of damage right back on Obrexy. He's going to... Is he going to get away? There's no way. There's the Q. Yep, there it is. All right. There's and the... Vane got it. All right. Good job, Viznaz. I want to say Vane, Elise. <laughs> Elise. You know, we don't see too many Elises right now. I see V, so I said Bane, but I meant to say Viznaz instead of Elise. Yeah. All right, so there's a lot of damage coming out from my Matravesty right on to J-Specs. Looks like Volibear's wanting to give uh, Katarina blue for some reason. There's the pings for it, but he's going to take it. He needs it. Katarina does not need that cooldown. If Elise can get this, that is a huge advantage. It's already gone. There's no way. Volibear. There it is. She, oh, she goes in. She where's go where's the cocoon? Here. Where's the cocoon? Where's the cocoon? There's the cocoon. There's the the volatile spiderling. The Q. The W. He's got his passive popped, but it's not gonna be enough. He's gonna go down. Oh, and there's Katarina. I'm a travesty. Wants this kill. There's the flash. There's the ignite. The kill goes right over both of us. Are transferred to I'm a travesty. That is gonna be a big problem for Akali. Right now, too much damage coming out. Akali does not want to fight I'm a travesty anymore, and I'm a travesty is gonna want to gank. Chris Hale taking a lot of damage in bot lane, too. Some violent games. You guys will never know it, but we just we just tried to do uh, another recording of another game that had all, just as many, just constant fighting all the time. But unfortunately, there was a problem with the replay file, and we couldn't watch the end of it. Oh, Brixie gets ulted by Armored Shrooms. You just contradicted yourself. Why's that? You said you guys will never know it, and then you told them. Well... They'll, ne they'll never has they'll never see the magic. Another root onto Zakai. Underwhelmed is getting a lot of these roots, but there's not a whole lot of follow-up right now because Vayne is very much a late game champion. She doesn't even have a com she doesn't even have a completed Blade of the Ruined King. There's a ping oh, for assistance. Is Katarina gonna hop on the Sakali? Oh, she backs away just in time. Leeson's clearing a ward in the top lane. Oh, Brixie doesn't want to get ganked again. He's already seen what Viznaz can do. Hibernation confirms a kill in the bot lane, and Zakai's gonna follow quickly. Red side bot lane gets destroyed. A dragon's up in half a minute. They better start getting vision on it, because if they if they can take a tower and have as much pressure on the bot lane as they do right now, it'll be an uncontested dragon for certain. Hibernation coming up to the mid lane. That Katarina just took free damage for a colleague. There's a Rolling Thunder. He doesn't want to follow through. Katarina is left out alone. She takes a little bit of damage from the Q, but j like makes the right choice. Soon. Yeah, it seems like. They're going to push this up. Hmm. Looks like Blue Team's going to try doing Dragon. Maybe at least can stop him. Oh, too much pressure there. At least backs off. Blue but or, or blue side is doing a death push, but I think J Specs feels this one oh. out. Zakai comes from the back and he gets pulled in by the rolling thunder. He goes down really quickly. J Specs confirms the kill on the underwhelmed. He is now invisible in his shroud and his twilight shroud. He's trying to get Chrisiel. Goes back into the shroud, waits for his buddies to show up. There's the root on the polar bear. Hibernation is going down. And Viznaz takes the kill. That was a good defend. That was a right really there. good... They felt out. I don't know if they saw... I don't think they saw that all four or all three of them were in that bush. No, they didn't, but they still had to turn against them. Yeah, you exactly. Know why? It's because they were all trying to focus on a call, even though she was in her... Uh... Twilight Shroud. Twilight Shroud, yeah. Now, this is the time where they need to take this dragon. It will... With the second dragon, if they get a dragon advantage, this small gold lead on blue side isn't even going to matter. It's not going to be a thing. They're taking this way too slow. There's no way Travesty's going to be able to get this. And second dragon goes over to, to red side. Without much trouble at all.
So what's going on right now is blue side had a small early advantage. And they thought that if they set up a death push, got someone, got a Kali, or even they did get um, one or Maokai. two kills. Yes, they got the Maokai. They got Sakai and, and took him down really quickly. But they didn't respect the fact that that red side still has a lot of damage. This Caitlyn is hurting. She's already got a BF sword. As compared to uh, Vayne's sort of slow build towards a ruined, uh, Blade of the Ruined King. And was able to just out damage them in that fight. They they kept looking for the Akali. Zakai uses his ult and the twisted advance, but gets pushed away by Chris Ale. Those Piltover Peacemakers are dealing a fair amount of damage. It looks like Volibear and Katarina are gonna try getting the gank on the bot lane. Looks like a big fight coming bot lane, but Viznaz seems like he doesn't want any of it. He has full health and full mana and blue buff, and he's backing. Oh, he decided to cancel the back. I'm a Travesty is playing way too cautious. Right now, Travesty needs more kills. Because Even when she had her buff, she was not going in. She's already got 101. She's got an Abyssal Scepter. This is a great start oh, for Katarina. There's like the root. There's the root onto in the bot lane. Hibernation lands his throw. Here comes Katarina. Here comes she Kat. And she's in her and Twilight Shroud. They're going to see her, though. Okay. She uses... She uses the the uh, scuttle crab looks like he's gonna try to get her to get away. Maokai doesn't want that to happen, and J Specs is gonna get away scot free. I feel like if Katarina would have altered right then and there, she probably would have gotten it. There's the old Tondo Obrixie in the top lane. Armor Shrooms wants to take him down. Obrixie uses his ult to kick him away. It looks like that's gonna be the end of the fight. Oh, Brixie's really oh. at a disadvantage here. Katarina coming up, hoping to help, but it's not Bain enough. Kill in the bot lane. Chris Ale, there's the tumble double kill going over to Chris Ale. Blue team has the kill advantage. Blue team continues to make really good plays in lane per person. Uh, Obrixie surprisingly not that far behind, despite being against a Malphite as a Lee Sin. And bottom tower's going down to blue. But unfortunately, Red Side still has two dragons. Oh, looks like Elise is going to try and make something happen with Akali. Akali's coming in, but she needs to get in there now. This is going to be a double kill for Akali. This is going to be a double kill. Underwhelm's not going to be able to get away from this. Has he taken damage? It's Akali. possible that he's going to... No, yeah. he's not going to get away. There's the jump. Q. And the uh, confirm the kill. There's the ignite. The Hibernation from the flash. There comes the rolling thunder. It's not enough to get a hold of Viznaz. Oh, They're starting games. to turn it down. Katarina puts out so much damage. She flashes over to get like the kill on Viznaz. Like she comes oh, back to help Jaspex. Yeah. There's the passive onto Hibernation, keeping them alive. This bear is going into Hibernation. Uh. <laughs> Oh, there's the flash from Defton. He wants this kill on Hibernation. There's the ult. It's not going to be enough as I'm a travesty body blocks it easily. Zakai wants to keep going for the kill, but it's not enough. They're going to have to back away from this one. Advantage blue side heavily now. What they need to do is not allow red side to get any more dragons. They can't because if they start to get three, even four, more dragons are going to matter more and more until finally they're going to get red or uh, five dragon. And that's going to be extremely dangerous. I mean, it's almost, it's more powerful than Baron just about. And it's a 4,000 gold lead for blue side. But something like that can go really quickly if the other team starts getting a lot of dragons. 18 minutes of the game, only one tower down. That's pretty impressive, really. Blue leading with a good advantage. Yeah, 4,000 gold lead. I feel like Brixie is wasting time in this top lane. I really do. I think that he needs to be elsewhere, making early game plays like Elisin should, instead of trying to 1v1 a Malphite. There's oh, J-Specs. He's going to walk right into J-Specs, and there's a lot of damage. And he keeps he going in. The Q uses Dragon's Rage to kick her away. Hibernation goes in with the Rolling Thunder in the bot lane, picks up Death Dun. She gets condemned into the wall, and that's a kill over to I'm a Travis dude who comes in to steal the kill. That's a 3-0-2 Katarina at 18 and minutes. J-Spex right oh, flashes, ults, gets the kill on Obrixie. Red team's going to get their first tower. Red team takes top tower. 
What's blue team's response though? We have dragon in 30 seconds. I honestly felt like that Lee Sin should have been like ganking mid a lot more. Like I said, exactly. He's just he wasting time against the Malphite. And him and Katarina would just do so much damage. There's a root on to Sakai in the bot lane. Oh, oh, oh with, the, with the right roll, there's the tumble. It's not enough. Exhaust goes down onto Chris Ailes. That guy's still alive, but Chris Ailes goes, it takes the kill in the end. J Specs is going to get killed from the Death Lotus. I'm a Travis. It doesn't matter if you're invisible. That's an area of effect ability. Oh, Brixie teleports in, misses his Q. Armored Shrooms is probably going to get pulled by Hibernation. Here's the Rolling Thunder. It gets tossed in. There's the Sonic Wave. And Katarina wants a piece, too. Armored Shroom gets the ult in. But he's not going to be able to get away from this. That Maokai should have just kept running up top. That was not enough. That was, He should have used his ult to get away. This is what he should have well, done. Well, no. At least in a Dragon kicked him away. I, I oh, know, but but he used his ult to slam into the three people who were chasing yeah, him. Yeah, he should have used it to escape. All right, so blue side is trying to get their first dragon, and they probably will since Armor Shrooms is down, and Viznaz is not anywhere close enough to try and make a steal. This is an uncontested dragon for blue side. First one of the game. Defton is in the wrong place right now. All he needs is a good route, but he doesn't get it. He's going to put on... He's going to try and take out Underwhelmed, but he's not going to be able to get that kill on him. Oh, oh and like Viznaz is going to go to down straight over to I'm a Travesty. Travesty is now 5-0-4 at 20 minutes on Katarina. It looks like she also picked up some spell vamp going for the gunblade, I guess. Absolutely, because she has a longsword. I'd say Blue Team's doing really good. You got a 5-1 Vayne right now and a 5-0 Katarina. Yeah, this is definitely a huge advantage over onto blue side. Those are the two people you don't want fed. Absolutely not. Oh, Brixie's a little, a little, uh, excitable right now. No health. Macaulay went ahead and got home guard. I feel like they're going to need that real soon. Yeah, that's a good choice to get. <laughs> is it maybe a little fatalistic or a little realistic? I don't know. Looks like Chris Hill might be able to get this tower. Kalen's gonna come try to contest it. Chris Hill has a single infinity edge. There's the surrender coming over from red side. Like we said, we don't want to see that Katarina. We don't want to see that Vayne. They're too fed. There's no way they're gonna come back from that. That is a GG. GG. Win to blue side. I think Travesty and, and Chris Hill were just too scary at that stage. So, uh, well, what, are, what are some mistakes you think that Red made? Really fed Katarina, really fed Vayne. They didn't worry about the dragon so much, and they just went for kills. They got a lot of really early gold onto Katarina, really early gold onto Vayne. Even without the Ru Blade of the Ruined King, even with that little fiasco in the death bush in the river right before Dragon, the blue team just had so much kill potential, and Hibernation kept landing a bunch of really good rolling thunders. Malphite did not have enough team presence. There was no good team fights that really, uh, a really good Malphite ults, unstoppable forces that were able to influence a big team fight. So even though they got the first dragon, they got the second dragon, it didn't matter because the first dragon helps a little bit with attack damage and ability power, but it's not enough to make up for a fed Katarina and in turn a fed Vayne. What do you think? Um, I agree with you. I feel like <laughs> Lee Sin could have done a lot better, though. Yeah, even despite Obrixie wasting, honestly, wasting a lot of time in the top lane with Malphi, Lee Sin is an early game champ. He has a lot of really early game potential and mid game potential for setting up a lot of fights. Fighting a Malphite, it should not be the first thing on a lane Sin's mind, especially. Yeah, exactly. Either way, without without his help, without Obrixie's help, it didn't. They didn't need it for. I'm a travesty, and and Chrissy Ale just continued to destroy the game. And I think a really strong point. The reason that this went so well is because Hibernation just continued to get these really good rolling thunders, and his passives broke at just the luckiest times, and he never died in a really crucial point. He continued to land those grabs, threw people back, and just served up kills to both Katarina and Bane. He did a good job. That was great jungling on his part.
Absolutely. All right, guys. So thanks for watching our shoutcast. Um, if you have any interest, make sure to leave a comment, like below, and uh, send us your or submit your own replays. We're always looking for really interesting replays. Remember, we do any elo. We don't care if you're bronze. We don't care if you're challenger. We'll cast it. Thanks, guys. This is Master Crow and Loki Chaotic. Signing out. Bye bye. All right. We're Game faces, okay. <clears throat>